Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, apparently already confronting Nasty Nork. This surprised me because I was pretty sure that he was in the last one over here, which hasn't unlocked yet, and that this would just be another level, but apparently not. So, it's time to face Nasty Nork, let's go. Confronting Nasty Nork. I guess there's just like a post-game level of some kind, but I, I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Confronting Nasty Nork, he makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble he can get himself into. Yeah, I have the rat song stuck in my head. Sorry about that. Oh, bye Spyro. Oh, hi Spyro. <laughs> that was a bit excessive. Okay, so that's Nasty Nork already. We're already in the battle, so... Uh, let's avoid getting hit by him and just grab some treasure. I'm not sure why they built it that way. You'd think when you arrived, you would arrive, you know, in a bit of a level that you can go through to reach the boss instead of immediately the boss, which is what's happened here. Can I jump up that high? No. Okay. Um... Okay, I've grabbed all the treasure. Oh, I can go this way. Hey, you have a key. Oh, there's lots of treasure in here. Jeez. I'm gonna miss anything. I did already miss something. <laughs> How much treasure is in this level? 500. Good lord. Okay, that's how you get up here. I see. Still not a fan of these, uh, rather racial stereotypes for these guys. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not good. It's concerning. Come back here. Come back here, you jerk. There we go. Okay, I have a key now. Um, I assume I can open this door with it. Looks like a keyhole. Yeah. Oh, okay, I need another key. <laughs> did the sound just stop working? Yeah, it did. That's weird. Um... It's like a game bug or something? There's just no sound in the game at all. That's bizarre. Do I need to like, restart the game or something? Because yeah, other sound is working. You can hear the switch is clicking at me, like it's supposed to. Who cares about Fortnite? Um, but... This game isn't making any sound at all. What if I change that back? Does that change anything? No. I mean, the original music's pretty cool, so maybe I'll give that a try at some point, but... Yeah, that's still not working. Um... Hmm... I'm gonna try doing quick game and see if that brings back the sound at all. Sorry about that. Um, cause yeah, that's that's really annoying to have happen in the middle of the, the game while fighting the final boss. Um, yeah, the sound just completely stopped. It must be a bug of some kind, but I don't know why that would happen. It's very weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I've restarted the game. It's taken a little while. It's pretty slow. Uh, freaking Activision. Toys for Bob. Oh, 
Okay, well, it was playing some sound during the intro, so that suggests it's working again, which is good. And there's Spyro's face. Hey, Spyro, what's up? Blank screen. Yeah, it takes a long while to load. It's annoying. Um, I suppose I could pause the recording while I'm waiting for it to reload, but whatever. It's pretty much happened now. 89%? Yeah. Let's head back in. The adventure continues. I don't know if I need to restart getting the keys again. I'm guessing probably, because that seems to be a major part of the boss fight, but we'll see how we go. Also, yeah, it sits on this screen for a while. There we go. Okay, so here we are at the Nasty Nork fight. Um, we still have the treasure we already got, so that's good. But yeah, we got to get the keys again, so... Okay, sound is working, sound is working. All is good. Uh, these guys are kind of a racial stereotype. So I don't appreciate that. Granted, they already were a bit in the original game, because, you know, they were in turbans and stuff, but you couldn't really see their face, their facial features at all. They just have, like, cartoony eyes, which was a lot better. Okay, that's one key. Okay, then we head over. Can I just go open this door immediately, or does it not work? Yeah, it doesn't work. I had a feeling it wouldn't work. <laughs> Okay, so we go over here now. Let's go get the second key. Oh, uh, we're going outside. Make sure I don't miss any treasure, of course. Kind of silly that Nasty just has these guys chasing, like running away with the keys instead of just putting them somewhere I can't reach to begin with. Because <laughs> that would be a lot easier, I imagine. There we are, that's the second key. Let me get to peek outside. So, yeah, if you fall off here, you're pretty much dead. You can't get back up. Mm -hmm, there's water down there, it's gonna kill you. It's purple water, but I, I think it's supposed to just be water. Uh, I think this key is the one to Nasty. Yes. Now we can climb up. Look over here for some treasure, if there is any. Nope. There's some over here though. Treasure, treasure, treasure. halfway through the treasure we need. Just short of that, yeah. It's 500, so... This level does have a pretty cool industrial design to it. Looks nice. Which I mean, it looks, you know, evil and horrible and industrial and all that, but... It works because it's one of us. <laughs> Which I think it's the final boss. I'm not sure I've actually beaten Nasty in the original game before, so I'm not quite sure exactly what happens when you do. It looks like mostly he just runs away. Which is a bit silly. Okay, I think I need to actually chase him. Yeah. Through that area we just looked at. Dang it. I don't know if there's checkpoints here. Um, it may be that the keys I already did stay done, and so I can just skip ahead to the part I was up to, but... Uh, maybe not. Let's see how we go. Okay, well, the keys have reset. Yeah, that's obnoxious. I don't want to redo everything. Uh, whatever. I can manage. I 
the treasure stays collected, so I'm going to redo that bit. There we go. Key one. It's going to be used to unlock this door. Chase this guy. Slow down here just in case. Do you want to fall off? That would be terrible. He's going to go a different direction at the end there, but he doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take that second key over to Nasty here and use it to unlock this door. There we go. Keys look identical. I'm not sure how you're supposed to know which one goes where. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do with Nasty either. Like, he's gigantic. You don't, you can't charge him. Because I'm pretty sure. Oh no! <sighs> What's this obnoxious? Because it's going to reset the whole boss fight again. And that's the whole level. So you just got to start over again if, if you mess up once. I mean, some of the other bosses are like that too, but they're also shorter. So it was not as bad. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can't breathe fire until you stop charging, so you have to be really close for it to work well, which is annoying. Uh, go back this way, so I have to go outside. <sighs> okay, so we unlock this, and then I guess we're supposed to chase after Nasty at full speed? It just seems like a bad idea. You're just gonna mess up one of these little turns and have to redo everything. Hmm. Yeah, boss design in this game is questionable. Uh, and not only because it's kind of racist. Although that is one of the reasons it's questionable. So if I... Can I go anywhere else from here or do I have to keep following him? I guess I can just keep following him, but I don't know what that's going to achieve. Because I can't, I can't charge into him, he's gigantic, he won't be damaged by a charge. Um, maybe if I do it like a couple of times he'll stop running and I can actually get him, I don't know. Again, yeah, I don't think I've actually beaten Nasty, so I don't know what to expect from this fight.
Yeah, see, I just charged him and nothing happened. Because he's big. Too big to charge. Um, so I don't understand what I'm trying to do here. Oh, okay. I meant to hit him with fire. Then he runs this way. That makes sense. Oh, uh, this looks scary. Can I have a checkpoint or something? Because I've clearly completed... Oh, no! No, no, oh my god. Okay, obviously if I had a checkpoint it wouldn't help because I got a real game over just then. Not, not a fan of this boss battle. I wish they had redesigned it when they made this version of the game because it's it's not good. It's, it's bad and not good. It's, it's a bad and not good boss battle. Uh, okay, let's try it again from the top. I pretty much know how to do what we've done so far, so I guess it's okay, but... God, you, you mess up one little bit and you restart the entire fight, like... Whose idea was that? Mm. It should give you little checkpoints once you've gotten... Once you get a hit on Nasty, you'll get the bit with the keys done. Like, there should be checkpoints. At each of those spots, because, honestly... Bye, Spyro. Hi, Spyro. Okay, so here we are again. Time to go get the keys. Again. They didn't have to make you do this over and over. They could have just not done this. It's just busy work. Because there's very little chance of failing these parts. And if you do, it's just annoying anyway. It's not like real challenge or anything. The fact that Nasty's trying to shoot at you barely affects you because you're in these tunnels the whole time. Hmm. Yeah, this, this boss battle is something I have many complaints about, and you'll be hearing more of them as we progress. Yeah, like, the fact that Nasty's up there trying to shoot you doesn't impact the fact that you're chasing these guys. Because you're not in the same room as Nasty for the vast majority of it. So it's like, it's just chasing these key guys for no particular reason apart from the game says you have to. Where, where is Nasty? I can't even tell where the dude is. There he is. Because he has so little impact in that part of the fight. Okay, so we have to chase after him here. I'm not sure we actually have to chase after him, because he seems to stop in the right spot anyway, so maybe if we're not quick enough it'll still work, I don't know. Oh my god! I hate this fight. This is a really terrible part of the game. It's just, it's really, really bad. I don't know what they were doing, but this is awful. It's, like, intolerably bad. And most of the game is very, very good, and I don't understand why they didn't fix this. Because, jeez. Just, like, all of this busy work that lasts several minutes, and then you get into the next bit, and it's more of the same, really, and it's not really interesting. <sighs> there should, and there's no checkpoints. Like, what's the point if there were no checkpoints? You get a game over and it doesn't affect anything. It just walks you back out of the level, but because there are no checkpoints in the level, it doesn't change your level of progress in any way. Ah! <sighs> 
just a bad boss fight. It's it's not a good climax to this game, even if the level looks very nice. Which it does. Uh, props props to Toys for Bob for that, but why didn't they redesign this? Make it fun. Like, boss fights in platformers can be very fun. The ones in Odyssey are all excellent, but these are bad. Nintendo more or less invented fun boss fights in 3D platformers with Galaxy. Before that, it didn't exist. Uh, this game is, is newer than Galaxy. They should have redesigned the boss fights. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not good. None of them are very good. I think you need to chase them around at least twice to get this to work properly. I'm not really sure why that is. doesn't seem to work right unless you do, which is annoying. There we go. Alright, so there should be a checkpoint here, but there isn't. You just gotta keep going without any checkpoints. Oh my god, are you, are you kidding me? Oh my god! Wait, what? You're that was it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's still a bad boss fight, but I'm glad it's over. you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. <laughs> God, that's cute. Okay, so that's... That's the end of the game, I guess. I mean, there's clearly at least another level, so... Um... Can I skip this? Pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening. There we go. So, what's happening now? The adventure continues? Nork only took two flames to defeat, which is interesting, because most bosses take three. Like, you only have to attack him twice. I guess the keys count as the first attack, sort of? Okay, there's a new dragon here for some reason. Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. The gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Oh. Oh. So, so I actually have to go and get all the treasure from the flight levels? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I've gotten everything else in the game. I just haven't got the stuff from the flight levels. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Well, at least there's no flight level in, in Nork Nexus. Like, here there isn't one, so. So yeah, don't open that up. I need to do everything else in the game, which means playing those flight levels. Oh no. Uh, may maybe I'll give it a go, I'll think about it. Maybe. 
But yeah, I got every other thing in the entire game, so that ought to count for something. Oh, I can see the total treasure count up there. It's 12,000 12, 12, treasure. Okay. So yeah, I've got to redo all of these levels and get everything in one go to get the full amount of treasure out of them. And that'll max it out at the appropriate number. Okay, and there's five of them. I'll think about doing those, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope me ranting about how much the final boss sucks, because that is not a good final boss, was enjoyable to you. Um, is, the, is the previous dragon still here, or was it replaced by this one? Huh, must have been replaced. Weird. That's a really weird design decision. Okay, um, anyway, yeah, so... Clearly, we have to get everything in the game to open this. Which means doing the flight levels. <sighs> I'll think about it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!